Hey guys, I had my last day of year 12 at school, which means I'm not at school anymore, I'm on what we call here in the UK study leave, where we stay at home and revise for our exams, and we only go into school for said exams. So basically there's a lot of school exams, stress stuff going on, I've been very worked up about it, so I thought I would give you a haul of the things I bought when I was stressed. First thing I picked up were these Disney Princess Pluses because I have some pretty hefty blisters on the back of my feet. The next thing I bought was some Garnier Body Intensive 7 Day Smoothing Nourishing Lotion. Some moisturiser. My hair's been playing up a lot recently. It's been getting really really greasy within less than a day of washing it and that's why it's kind of half wet now. So I thought I would try some of this Aussie Miracle Recharge Shine Spray and Conditioner stuff. So I'm using this instead of conditioning my hair at the moment to see if that helps. My sister is very big into makeup and stuff like that so whenever we go into Superdrug I tend to pick one more thing that I can teach myself how to do and I'm slowly building up a makeup collection. So this time I chose two things and we've gone for eyebrows and lips. So this lip thing Thing. See, I'm so experienced. It's a Revlon Color Burst Balm Stain in number 5 Crush Book Queen. I'm not wearing my glasses, I can't see anything right now. I got this palette, which has three colours and a mascara thingy for your eyebrows. I've used a pencil before, actually. I've used an eyebrow pencil before. The only other shop we went into where I bought anything was Primark because I bought things and then I ran out of money. The first thing I picked up was this apparently really big yellow t-shirt. It's not that big, I'm pretty sure it's in my size. Oh, it's a wide fit top, so <laughs> that'll be why it's massive. The next thing I picked up was basically the reason we wanted to go to Primark at all. This is a sports bra. Both my girls in my dance class just wear one of these to dance, but I'm not confident enough in my body to do that, so let's not. The next thing I picked up was also kind of sport related. I picked up this jacket, I'm not gonna lie, the main reason I bought it is because it has the molds. Look how cute that is. The next item is actually my favourite thing that I bought in the entirety of the day, closely followed by the Disney Princess stickers, and it's this vest top. I think this is really, really cool. It's like an Indian elephant design. The next one, I'm not too sure about. I bought a Nirvana t-shirt because, you know, Nirvana are great and I really love their music, but I don't know. I don't look like the kind of person that listens to Nirvana, but I, I'm not gonna lie, I think the logo is really cool and it's kind of iconic. I lied about the elephant t-shirt being my favorite thing. My favorite purchase of the day is in fact this My Little Pony sweater because it's adorable, it's really cute. My mom, me and my mum were joking about buying some fabric pens and colouring in all the ponies that haven't been coloured in. It's the comfiest shirt I've worn in so long. I bought it about four sizes too big so that it would actually fit my arms because I'm a giant so nothing ever fits me. Quick side note, I have always put a link to my blog in the description but I have neglected it for about five months so I'm going to try and post weekly blog posts on there. After I finish filming this I'm going to write a blog post on fanfiction. There's a lot of opinions surrounding fanfiction and while some of them are valid and true, some of them I think are prejudiced and unfair. So I was going to discuss this on my blog, so I will leave a link to that in the description. So yeah, cool, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.